Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be answering the question, who will pay for my product? My name is Stephanie Obi and I'm the author of the Amazon best-selling book, Knowledge is the New Goal. If you've been trying to monetize your knowledge, I'm sure you'll be asking yourself this question. This thing doesn't even make sense. Who will pay for this thing? Can't they just Google it up? Like, I've never seen anybody train this kind of to on this kind of topic before. Why will anybody buy it? Like, why would anybody buy from me? Like, this topic doesn't even really make sense. You know, you'll be having those kind of thoughts in your brain, in your mind, you know, chit, 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 chit. So in a way, that's a good and a bad thing because it's a good thing because it stops you from making a fool of yourself. And it's a bad thing because it might stop you from actually moving forward. So what I always advise my clients to do is to test it. Test it, test it, test it. And I'm gonna share three ways you can test your ideas before you get started. Number one, go online and check. Are there other people who are launching products on this topic? If they are, chances are that if you launch your own, people will pay for, buy it. So what that, if people are buying products from other people, what it means is that they're actually solving a problem and there's a need that they're solving. But you need to be sure that that thing even exists. So go on platforms like Google, go and see if people are writing articles on it. Go on YouTube, see if people are creating videos on it. Go on Udemy, see if there are other online courses on it. Go on Amazon, see if there are other books on it. If there are other people creating products on this topic and people are paying for it, believe me when I say this, when you launch your own, people will buy from you. Especially if you have proven results that you can show. Number two, talk to people. Now I know that this might be tough because some people like to keep their ideas secret. <sighs> Don't tell anybody. <laughs> now, if you do that, keep that thing about keeping your ideas secret, you might not get some hard truths, all right? So get over yourself and start talking to a couple of people. I have an idea, I'm thinking about doing this and that. Do you think that you'll be able to pay for it? Is this, is this something like you'll be able to pay for? With what is the problem you would like this course to solve for you? You know, engage people and people are going to give you feedback that you can talk about in your online course or in your book or in your coaching program. Like you want to talk to people. Don't, don't assume that you know people's problems. Get clear on what people's problems are by talking to them and then creating a solution using your products. Don't forget, when you create an online course or a book, or a coaching program or whatever type of product you create is you're not just selling information you are selling solution to somebody's specific problem so if you're not sure what a person's specific problem is you might not be able to create the right solution for that person so before you launch your course or your book or your coaching program or whatever you decide to launch talk to people get clear on what the problem is and make sure that your solution that you're selling to them in form of an information product actually helps them to get answers to their problem when you create a solution, you will sleep easy because you know that people want this thing that you have created. People will be looking for it. Somebody will be out there crying and praying to God to find an answer and your solution will be that answer that they're looking for. Number three is a strategy I share with my clients and it's called pre-selling. What this means is that before you go and do all that work of recording videos, creating workbooks, you know, creating sales funnels, before you do all of that, you start selling your product. Look, if you pre-sell your product, you're not going to be having sleepless nights. I'll tell you a story. One time, I pre-sold my online course and nobody paid for it. Nobody paid for it. And it was shocking. Like, ah, this, I'm solving a problem with this online course. Why is nobody paying for it? But that was the biggest feedback ever. I went back to the drawing board. I changed the name of the course. I changed the proposition, I changed certain things I was going to teach in the course and I relaunched it again. This time, I actually earned millions from that same thing. From that same thing, I just changed a few things here and there when I suspected that there was a problem. So I didn't go and create videos and workbooks and then try to push it and nobody paid for it. I tested my idea first, I pre-sold it and when I did not see any 
any client, I tweaked it again, repackaged it and resold it again. And the next time I did that, I now started earning millions from that online course. Please, 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 this is one important advice I'm going to give you if you're trying to monetize your knowledge. Pre-sell your course, test your ideas. And if you fail, like if you have a problem, it's not the end of the world, you can tweak it and resell it again. I share specific details on how to pre-sell your online course in my 90 day program, Course Launch Delivered. If you want to be a part of it, go to www.stephanieobi.com, sign up to my online course starter pack and I will send you details about the online course starter pack and more details on how to work with me. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment and I'll see you next week.